really, Sharky? You say you found it just lying by the road? <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Wow, that's incredible that you actually found this. Wow! And it's not even that heavy! Look how high I can toss this! Ugh. You're right, Sharky. Something that incredible and valuable should be kept somewhere safe until we find the rightful owner. I mean, the whole world could be changed for the betterment of mankind with this. Here! While we track down the owner of this incredible find, we'll just put this in here where it'll be completely safe! Why, with that in there, where nothing bad can happen to it, we can ponder what can be done with it to make the world a better place. Kumbaya, this is wonderful! Who'd ever imagine we'd find something like that? It's amazing! Phantasmagorgic! Why, I'll bet that's the only one of its kind on Earth! And we got it right there! In that trunk! That trunk right there! Sure you're excited! Who wouldn't be? Why, what's that? We'll finally fix everything that's wrong with the world! With what's in that car trunk, we'll forever end war, starvation, and pestilences! Let's look at it one more time, wanna? Could have been a disaster. Hmm, <laughs> we'd better find who this marvelous briefcase belongs to and fast. Here, let me help you up. Shut up or I'll pull your head off and kick it to Brazil is the correct way of saying burger in French, Sharky. But it was a good try. Maybe whoever lost this briefcase is in here, Sharky. We have to find the owner because it never hurts to help. Here, let me get the door for you. <gasps> Ouch! Sorry. Yeah, a bunch of... Oh, which door? Oh. <gasps> okay, Elmo, here's your chicken wings and your fried egg over easy. Hmm, breakfast. Hmm, well, which one should I eat first? I know, I'll eat the dish that came first, but, hmm, I wasn't paying attention. I was watching TV. We now return to tonight's movie, A Few Good Dentists. You want the tooth? You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth! Uh, excuse me, waitress, but, um, which came first, the chicken or the egg? If I knew that, you think I'd be a waitress? Nice drum, man! Thanks. Oh, man! Oops. Uh, I guess saying I'm sorry isn't gonna give you back the feeling in your eye. Here, man, I got the burn stains out. Oh, and I think I figured out who lost this briefcase, man. Call me crazy, but I think this briefcase belongs to Professor Wiggly, man. That's amazing, Mittens. You figured out the owner of this magical briefcase just by feeling and shaking it? Actually, I just like the sound it makes when I shake it, man. I figured out who owns it by the big ID tag attached to the handle. Kumbaya, Professor Wiggly. He must really be worried about his briefcase. Boy, if I lost my briefcase and it had what's in here, boy, I know I'd be worried, all right. We'll get this back to Professor Wiggly as soon as we finish breakfast. You see, Sharky, we found out who this briefcase belongs to. Everything's gonna be just fine. Let's drink up and go find Professor Wiggly. Oh, Aik! I can't find Sharky anywhere. I'm so worried I can hardly eat. <laughs> Why, well, eat the cat, I can see you have your dance face on. Let's trip the lot fantastic. Oh, Egg, let's do the twist. Waitress, two more eggs, please. Out, out, 
Wrong. Everyone knows that. Well, mon ami, you will be the ones to tell Professor Wiggly that his incredible briefcase has been, how you say, misplaced. Now I must flag down a ride. The professor's castle is a million kilometers from here, and my feet, they are in the excruciating pain. Hey, look, guys. It's incredible Elmo the Elk. <gasps> <gasps> If you play, mon alchemy, can you be giving we bears a ride to the professor's castle so that we may tell him of our terrible folly? You betcha! I'm on my way to the lake to take my little brother Timmy rowing. It's for his physical therapy. He hurt his arm waving like Princess Diana. Hop in! Yippee! <laughs> oh, they <laughs> Magnificent squishy bears with my incredible briefcase and my mangoes. We can always look both ways. Luckily, we're safe. There's not a car for miles. Come on! Aha! I knew the highway was around here somewhere. Bon goo, I have forgotten. I promised the professor I'll bring him the red mangoes. Elmo, see you play. Can you help me? You betcha! <laughs> I shall just be the one minute. Here, you better stay with the geek. Uh, I don't really like the geek. It kind of scares me. Oh, come on, Cozy. Just because the geek lives in a box doesn't mean he should scare you. <laughs> <laughs> See? I hate that thing. Why do we have that? Why do we have it? <laughs> I'll join you, Pierre. I love mangoes. The professor, he is most particular about his mangoes. They must be of the finest quality. Does this one feel ripe to vous? Seems pretty ripe to me. Ah! Shh. What is that? What is what? That. Right there. What's happening? Where's the mango? Are you okay? It was a puno! It was a puno! Never get out of the boat, man! Never get out of the boat! Bye-bye, <laughs> Poodle! Bye-bye! I don't need this, man! I just wanted some mangoes! Never get out of the boat! Hey! There goes Elmo, Timmy, and the Squishy Bears! Hey, Sarky, do you know how to say squishy in Zimbabwe? <coughs> Well, Sarky, I'm sure stop talking to me or I'll run you over with a cement mixer sounds a lot like the Zimbabwe word for squishy, but I don't think that's right. Well, Sharky, we made it. There's the professor's castle, and there's Elmo and the squishy bears and some kind of geek in the box thingy there. Boy, I'll bet they'll all be glad to have this back. You see, Sharky, when we set off to help others, all kinds of good stuff happens. Come on! <laughs> Watch your step, Sharky. I thought I saw an open manhole back there.
tonight at 2.30 a.m. Who will survive these 40 lashes? Who can escape this cornucopia of madness? Prepare to flip your eyelid. Tonight on The Late Late Show, The Crawling Eye Infection. The Crawling Eye Infection? infection? The movie our own mom banned us from seeing five years ago claiming we were too young. Yeah, well, I was only three. And now here it is for our own bone-chilling watching pleasure, right on our very own TV. We're there, but 2.30 a.m., how will we stay up that late, Ryan? Sleep out! Sleep out! We're in! Right. Whoa, come on! Wade, where are the tent stakes? I can't find the tent stakes. What? <sighs> Give me those. Now, Clutter, if you and Sandy are gonna stay up with us, you gotta stay out of our way and, and make yourself useful, okay? <laughs> All right. That's a nice touch, Clutter. <laughs> oh, so your mom and dad finally kicked you kids out of the house, huh? No, Vanna. We're having a sleep out. We're staying up to watch the most terrifying movie ever produced. A movie that'll literally make your skin crawl. Oh, really? So they finally made a movie based on Cop's life story. I heard that, Vanna, but I'm not amused. For your information, if they were gonna make a movie about my life, famous actors would be chopping at the bit to play me. Actors like Lassie and Trigger and Benji? <laughs> So, what's with the tent? Looking to get another Weasel Scout badge? The Crawling Eye Infection is on at 2.30 a.m. We're pulling an all-nighter sleep out to watch it. The Crawling Eye Infection? Whoa! This, I gotta see. I, I, I'm gonna go get my sleeping bag. So you'll watch it with us? Well, I guess if Cop's gonna join you, you'll eventually need some stimulating conversation to keep you awake. I just gotta see if I can find my sleeping bag. I lost it a couple of months ago, and I can't imagine where it went. I should have known. Boy, it's good to see the kids out there roughing it. It's wonderful that they're getting back to nature. I was afraid they were becoming a tad too civilized and dependent on modern conveniences. Would you please? Oh, no, not you. Look, I'll have to call you back. It's just a short clutter. A minor blackout. Don't be such a coward, for goodness sakes. Get a grip, you big. Well, now what are we gonna do without electricity? Yeah, how can we rough it without all our electrical camping and eminemonies? What on earth are we gonna do for the next eight and a half hours? Don't worry. We still got TV. It's battery powered. And it's Saturday night. Saturday night has hours of great TV. 2.30 a.m. will be here before you know it. Yeah. Having trouble sleeping? Insomnia? Well, here at the Insomnia Nut Clinic, we'll slip you into a world of blissful slumber with our Insomnia Nut series of tapes. We'll have you out in no time. And I'm not just the president of Insomnia Nut Clinics, I'm also a member. No! Well, uh, that was dull. The Home Buying Network is practically giving away these metronomes. Why, what home couldn't do without one of these musical must-haves? Let's look. Huh? Ryan! Huh? Oh, yeah. Next on Fox, really unhappy police detectives. All right, I love the show. Real-life drama, disturbing language, and the parental guidance warning in the beginning. This will definitely keep us awake. Tonight on a two-hour special of really unhappy police detectives, we take you inside the exciting world of fingerprint analysis. Let's listen as police technician Dr. Dirk Flan lays it all out for us. The fingerprint. Everyone has one. Even you have one. It starts with a swirl. Just a swirl. Each swirl is a signature. Let's count the many swirls on your thumb alone. One swirl. Two swirls. Three swirls. Four so swirls. So boring. Swirls. Can't keep swirls. eyes Seven open. Swirls. 
much longer. Oh, hey, my head quit it. This is ridiculous. We've still got more than eight hours until the movie. How are we gonna stay awake? We gotta get our adrenaline up. We need to move around, get the blood flowing. Who's got an idea? Looks like the uh, kids are doing a kind of cha-cha dance on the lawn with some thing dressed in some sort of, looks like uh, maybe a tribal voodoo gown of some kind. Honey, there's no one with the kids. It's just dark out there and you're seeing things. Now come back to the couch. The show's just starting to get good. That's enough about the magnificent thumbprint. Now, let's look at the index finger. <laughs> Okay, Clutter, okay, we're up. This is crazy. We gotta keep ourselves occupied for seven more hours. What are we gonna do? What the heck are we gonna do? Get a grip, Wade. We've gotta keep our wits about us. Think! How can we stay awake? How? 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 I know! Let's play Truth or Dare. Cop! Name a girl you like that doesn't like you back. Truth or Dare. Dare! Please, just, please just give me the dare. All right, you asked for it. 10,000 swirls. Hi, Mom. 000. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. How's the sleep out going? Great. Just forgot a couple of things. That's nice, sweetie. You have fun. Well, Mel, how's the camp out going? Ah! Whoa! Whoa! How much more? I hate this! <laughs> Well, uh, honey, it appears that the uh, cop kid is wearing a dress and uh, surfing on her front lawn. Honey, come away from the window. He is. He's surfing. Mel, away from the window. Now, move it. Eh? Clutter, be careful. Look out! Phew. Sorry, mister. We were just fooling around. Oh, don't worry, kids. <laughs> no harm done. Just get right on my way here. Boy, these are big pots. What kind of vegetables are these, anyway? Uh, it's a kind of a, uh, uh, a new kind of vegetable. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, gotta go. Why don't you kids get home and get some sleep? <laughs> Boy, I hate vegetables. And now, coming up next, the movie you've waited all night to see. The Crawling Eye Infection. We made it! No problem! Shh, it's on. The Crawling Eye Infection will not be seen tonight, so we may bring you this special report. Apparently, aliens are replacing humans with zombie replicates, which they are growing in weird pods. Apparently, the switch is made when the unknowing humans fall asleep. So, whatever happens, do not fall asleep. I repeat, do not fall asleep. <sighs> Cop! No, you can't fall asleep! Cop, wake up! Why, Vanna? Sleep is good. Everyone must sleep to join us! <laughs> join us! Join us! <laughs> you okay, Vanna? Yeah, sure. J just a bad dream. Well, you're okay now. We're safe inside, remember? Recording the movie was a great idea, and I think we'll all enjoy the crawling eye infection a lot more in the daylight. Yeah. Well, good night, Sandy. Good night, Vanna.